The river feels cold yet gentle at midnight. The water will stroke people's ankles until all the worries are washed away. <sighs> Good night. May you sleep tight like the black cobblestone at the bottom of Lake Baikal. When we travel on the tundra, the sleet is the last thing we would like to see. The muddy snow water would be mixed with root pieces and infiltrate into your boots through every crack. Your legs would be dragged down and down until you can't lift them anymore. What's this noise? Mr. Crawlick? Mr. Jorian? Strange. I heard animals. What happened? Um... Yenisei. I can't see. I need your help. <sighs> oh dear. G give me a minute. Um, looks like they turned into, uh, I don't know, striped horses? Uh, uh, sorry, I I'm not sure. I've only seen similar animals in, in, in books. Uh, they look a bit smaller than horses. Taller and bigger than donkeys, and they have yellow stripes on their skin. Perhaps some local species on the temperate steppe. Are you certain they're transformed from Mr. Jorian and others? Not the livestock of nearby herders. I didn't cast any violent arcane skills on them, nor did you. Besides, I didn't sense any fluctuations of arcane energy. I'm sorry, madam. I have no idea. I think... If this wasn't because of us, there must be someone else around. Stay close to me.
It's here. Watch out. <sighs> what is it? Some bird of prey. It's fast, judging from the flapping sound of its wings. We must go up front to protect Mr. Jorian and the others. They might be its target. Oh, yes, the flint. Take out the flint. Kindle the sand rice to drive it away. No, wait. I don't think that's a bird of prey, but the human with wings. And it's not coming any closer? What? What did you say? I can't hear! I said that thing looks like a human with wings! A human? You mean it has the face of a human? Is the music also coming from it? Yes! The music playing winged creature with a human's face. Sounds familiar, don't you think? An angel? You are not serious! But, but the angels blow trumpets! That stick it uses to play music? I'm not sure whether it's a wand or some instrument. Closer and tell me, what does it look like? What about its wand? It, it, it has a human's head, dressed in grey with black wings instead of arms. Looks, looks like a huge bird of prey. While the wand, I, I don't know how to describe it. holding it. It's making the sound in mid-air. Sounds like a harpy, if there wasn't a wand. But it doesn't quite fit the descriptions in the book. Neither the color of its feathers nor the environment does. Yenisei. They must be under its control, but I'm not sure if... if a harpy can manipulate its subjects from a distance. <sighs> All right. Let's hope that... That Harpy doesn't eat horses? Madam, we can't just stand here and hope. Nonsense. Hope that this is just a mind controlling arcane skill, and they're just affected by it. 
That's right. We must follow that creature and break the spell on them. Now you need to... <sighs> Alright, I see what you mean. I'll go first. Please listen carefully to my footsteps and find us as soon as possible. Sounds strange. I've never heard any language like this. Thy pursuit will cost thee greatly, and yet little will be thy reward. Tread not one step more. Time to check my calculation! Thank you for your cooperation. That's troublesome! Let's do this! Here's the map. It could be found. The map. Then the set and divide. Are you a rational member? Thank you for your cooperation. has a bad smell. Hmm. 
No! Madam, watch out! What? I don't sense any hostility. Don't worry. I'm fine. It wasn't an attack. Those whom you chase are no longer related to you once they walked in here and moistened their throats with the flowing water. They are the Jutsu's concern. No more chasing. Uh, what is a GC? I don't understand. No, wait. I, I understand these words now. What? But uh, what is happening? A am I seeing illusions again? Uh, madam, what about... Uh, uh... No, it's not an illusion. I can understand it, too. Unbelievable. Is he able to speak different languages? Or can he learn from our conversation in no time? The attack he just made could be his arcane skill. I can sense the fluctuation of his arcane energy. It's wondrous power that allows people to communicate. Speculation is unhelpful to your situation. Go back to where you came from. No. First, you must turn them back. Second, to go back or not is our decision to make, not yours. That was not my doing. You stopped here and cast that arcane skill for us to talk, which means you think communication is available choice between us. You just mentioned the flowing water. Do you mean the river we passed by? And you say these striped horses are Jesus' concern. I need to know where that place is because they are my teammates. Besides, who on earth are you? What you ask, I have no answer. Then what do you know? The four books and five classics, Geomancy and Feng Shui, Cheng Wei Divination. What are you talking about? Well, the answers to many questions, actually. Yenisei, listen to me. We might be asking the wrong questions. <laughs> but we need to collect more information or buy more time. Whatever we are going to do, we can't just let him go. He will take Mr. Yurian and the team away from us. But clearly he is reluctant to answer these questions. Perhaps he'd be willing to exchange them for our supplies. He is trying to take them away. Perhaps because they are carrying the supplies he needs. You mean food or what? Let's... Uh... Stop. There is nothing else for you here. And I need nothing. What I here for is beyond even my own grasp. Wait! Good sir! Darn! He flew away! 
Did I say anything wrong? Don't flame yourself, madam. He appeared to be the unpredictable type. Do you still have the strength to walk? We need to hurry up and go after him. going upstream if we are he must be taking his praise back to his nest is is there a forest there <sighs> I'm sorry madam I can't I can't think right now I can't see Anything. Uh, uh, only... Uh, stars. in front of us. And... people. No. It's not a forest. There are walls and people. I, I I don't understand. Wait, could it be? Is it... a supply station? N no no Where... where on earth are we? Child, please tell me where we are. I can't hear the rustling of the sand rice anymore. But there are other noises. I'm thinking... Is this a settlement? At least it doesn't look like one. Not like any towns or villages we've seen. I, I, I think I'm seeing another illusion. I see a desert, some plants, and a, a wooden pavilion on the yellow walls. The roof of the pavilion looks like 
bird wings, and the people down the walls are quite different from us. Walls and people, right? Only a city has walls around it. I also hear those noises. It's not an illusion. Uh, no, you don't understand. Those yellow walls and the gates don't look real at all. I've never seen any buildings like this. A pavilion on the stone walls with four pointy tips around the roof? They seem to be flying in, in mid-air. Perhaps it's just a foreign architectural style. Besides, we couldn't have gone far enough to reach a city. Unless... Unless it's a fake one. We must not go there, Ashley. We lost track of the giant bird and the others long before we heard the noises of this city. The last thing I can recall is that the flapping of the huge wings disappeared in the south. The city wall before you is also to the south, is it not? Madam, you are doing it again. You never listen to me. Child, we are standing in the right place. Behind these walls, our teammates might be suffering due to my misjudgment. <sighs> the gate is open. I can see the people in the city. But there are guards patrolling around. They are holding some spear-like weapons, and the one in the front looks... quite different from us. I, I don't think they understand our language. Even if we ask them to let us in, uh, remember those herders? Almost impossible to communicate with them without an interpreter. Hope our travel documents can get us through that gate. Great. 
Naughtier than the Foundation's kids. Wishes to come along. is fleeing the scene at its maximum speed. When we travel on the tundra, the sleet is the last thing we would like to see. The muddy snow water would be mixed with root pieces and infiltrate into your boots through every crack. Your legs would be dragged down and down until you can't lift them anymore.
唔係你捉我啊！